Hi. I don't really know how to start one of these. Anyways, that's what I'm going to say. My super fans blowing my hair everywhere. Anyways, I finally thought of a topic to talk about. And it's a topic that people don't usually bring up in, like, everyday conversations. Tampons. Um, they're weird. I'm going to just say it straight up. Um, they're weird. You, we all know what they're for, right? Because I'm not going to explain it to you. If you don't, go Google it. So I have to say Google it. Um, they're really weird. I'm just going to say, like, if I was asked what I thought was the strangest creation is ever, I wouldn't say things like a toaster or a car, like those big major things. I would say the small little device is so awkward and so weird. And, okay. So, let's get it out. So, I guess I, when I was little, I, this when I saw them, you know, I saw them, went to the bathroom, I was like, oh my god, what is this? And then I opened up the package, and this thing is here, and I was like, <gasps> pushing the thinking, I'm like, this is so cool. And I'm like, and like I was just having a ball with them, I was just like, pushing them at people, like, <laughs> like, freaking BB gun. So, apparently, I have a story my mom told me the other day, having to do tampons. So, when I was little, I guess I was obsessed with Rugrats, and I guess I still, still really like them, you know, whatever. They're really cute. And there's this episode, I guess, where they're waving a clock in front of your face, like, and saying, you're getting sleepy. So, my dad had uh, friends over from work, and I found this in the bathroom, came out to my dad, got in front of him, said, you're getting sleepy. And everyone was rolling. So, I guess, um, I guess I was a funny kid. Oh, I'm talking about the crack up. And I was like little and I was like, I was like, I don't know how to do these things. You like stick up your nose and like, push them in or like, where do they go? And then I got older and then I got this book from, um, for Easter uh, when I was like 10. And it was like this uh, American Girl book. It's like the care and keeping of your body. And it showed very detailedly how to insert it and where it needed to go. Shocker to me, I've been... Mess, I've been using it as a toy, and it's really one of the weirdest things ever. I mean, it, why they shouldn't be trusted? They're uncomfortable and like they're just awkward, and like they expect us to trust the makers to put insert this in, in a woman's body. I mean, whose bright idea was that? It's like I just want to look at it and say you have no purpose here. I mean, you have a purpose, but like no one really wants you here. Even people who say, oh yeah, I always use those. I'm like. You don't like them, um, face it. Just don't be, don't be stupid. You hate them. We all hate them. They really. Anyways, that's all I have to say for this one. It's a, it's a topic I've been pondering for about a week, and I'm just like, you know what? I think it's time I say something about it. Um, so that's what I have to say. Uh, like if you liked it. Subscribe. Ask me questions. Follow my Instagram. Don't check out my last video. It's pretty weird. Ten minutes, boring talking. So yeah, that's what I have to say. Thank you for watching.